In this tutorial, we're going to talk about how to just get a little 32 by 32 uh, character to move up, down, and left, right on the screen. Uh, I used Paint 3D to make this little 32 by 32 uh, character here, and I have the eyes um, facing as if he's looking to the right here, um, and that's because of the default for GDevelop for rotating characters begins with this on the right, and then when you press up, it'll move this way, and left, and down. Okay, so just keep that in mind when you're creating your little 32 by 32 character. Let's go ahead and create a new project. And I'm gonna put this in Tutorials. And let's make it an empty game here. Okay, let's add a scene because we need a place to put our character. I'm going to rename this main. Always a good idea to get into good habits of naming your, your items. Double click and bring that up. All right, now let's add our character. We'll come over here and click objects. It's a sprite. We're going to call our guy Bob. And let's click on add. And right here, I'm going to use this guy right here. All right. And if we hit apply, we now have an object here named Bob. And we can drag Bob onto our main scene here. And then if we preview, <coughs> Yep, I'm hitting left, right, up, and down, and nothing is happening because we haven't actually added a behavior for Bob. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's right-click, Edit Object, and let's click on Behavior up here, and let's add the top-down movement behavior, and just hit Apply, and then let's preview, and we'll see what we have. There he goes. Now, you can edit the properties of this behavior. right? Let's say you want to make him rotate a little bit faster. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, for a game like this, I'm not going to allow diagonals. Acceleration, 300 always seems like a good number to me. But you can make this whatever you want. I like to make this 2,000. I like him to decelerate much more quickly. And then rotational speed, <clears throat> 300 seems like a good number for most of this stuff to me. Let's go ahead and hit preview. And there he goes. Notice he's still kind of sliding a bit. So you can keep editing this until you get exactly where you want. I'll make this 20,000. So you notice how he's not sliding anymore because the force that we applied to him to decelerate and stop is pretty great. Alright, and that's how we get a little character to move up, down, left, and right. 